Zaatari in Jordan is one of the largest refugee camps in the Middle East. 80,000 Syrian refugees live here, more than half of whom are women and children, and most of whom came here on foot. The camp is around 15 kilometers from the border with Syria. The camp started in uh, July 2012. No one envisioned that it will be that big, so now it is 5.3 kilometers squared. Today, Zaatari is the fourth largest city in Jordan. The water consumption alone comes to 3 million liters a day. Promoting the water supply is one of the most important functions of KFW, which supports the water poor nation of Jordan on behalf of the German federal government. KFW works together with the international aid organizations here, ensuring that refugees have water and access to sanitation facilities. Three deep wells supply the camp with water. Tankers still carry the water to the households. Workers fill up the tanks, which are connected to caravans. As you can see, most people here walk on the roads. They're sharing the roads with the traffic. So if we can get the trucks off the road, that's a great uh, benefit to the community. So now the aim is to pump water directly from the deep wells to the caravans via a total of 400 kilometers of underground pipelines. Half of the refugee camp's districts are already connected. The next task is connecting each caravan to the sewage system. The cesspits still need to be emptied by truck as well. So one of the key drivers for this program is basically to, to improve the public health issues within the camp by controlling wastewater much more closely um, and, and controlling the water supply, the quality of the water supply and the equitable supply so that everyone gets their fair share of water. The construction workers also include Syrian refugees. Mustafa al shami was studying engineering in Syria when the war started. I managed to earn my daily living. When you work, you grow independent. You do not have to humiliate yourself by asking for help. Iman Mahmoud Sharaf finds her life acceptable in Zatari, though she grieves for her husband and son whom she lost in the war. Today she lives with her children and grandchildren in District 1 in Zatari. We used to move around in the mud in order to get water from outside. Since we have running water, everything is clean. Thanks to Allah, we are now connected to all utilities. More importantly, we have sewage. Iman is thankful for every new day and particularly looks forward to her coffee in the morning, which would not be possible without water. <laughs>